You're a lock for the U.S. Open main draw as a result of your NCAA championship, right? Yes. All right, so uh, what do you think of this as a warm-up before New York? It's perfect. Um, I, I think my schedule panned out about as, as well as it could have at the end of the summer. I got a wild card into the qualies at Cincinnati last week, and I had kind of a tough tough uh, loss in the first round of qualies there to Anna Tadishvili, but... You know, I, I didn't play my best tennis, and I found out that I could compete at a top 100 level even not playing my best tennis, and I really carried that into this tournament. And now I have all the confidence in the world that I could, can win, win some rounds at the Open given a, a decent draw, so I think, I think it's been perfect for me. Does this venue um, and the fact that you're only 90 miles from Arthur Ashe, you don't have to get on a plane, does this venue, this warm-up um, particularly work well for you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's exciting to be near New York even, you know. I'm very excited to be there, but also just enjoying this tournament. Um, it's an incredible stadium. I wasn't expecting that, personally. I had never been to this tournament before, so I was really amazed by the facilities here. And there have been a lot of people at my matches this far, and that's been really fun to play in front of crowds and, you know, get ready for that kind of, that kind of uh, experience. Did you know that was this is like the fourth largest stadium in the world? Yeah, no. I, I had no idea, and then I showed up and I knew. <laughs> yeah. Take center court at Wimbledon, 15,000. Yeah. 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 Are you, I know uh, you were vocal about some of the rule changes on uh, NCAA, and you talk about going back. Just elaborate a little bit on just how you feel about, you know, some of the things that they're changing now this upcoming season. Yeah, I'm extremely frustrated by the proposal. I don't know how set in stone it is, but... I speak on behalf of most of um, my peers playing uh, that, that we don't want to see this change and no one was consulted from the actual you know, ITA, USTA or um, from the players perspective so uh, we were very shocked. Uh, we had no idea that the pro proposed changes were uh, on their horizon and I think we're doing everything that we can to get in the way of that happening. Um, I think it would be a very very big detriment to college tennis as a place for develop, developing as, as a professional player. How will the lineup at Stanford work next year with you and Mallory? Because right now you're higher in the NCAA ranking, she's higher in the WTA <laughs> ranking. So, I mean, does it, will it just be a switch up on a match by match basis or a set? Yeah, and, you know, I don't think rankings ever really factor into that too much because we're very comparable in terms of level. I think she has days where she would beat me 6-2, 6-2, and there are days when I can kind of scrap and stay in points with her. She's, she's an excellent hitter, so I anticipate playing uh, behind her and maybe ahead of her. It just it completely depends on, you know, the, the way things are going and... I don't really have any expectations. I think we'll be doing some flip-flopping in the lineup. Talk a little bit about how much confidence you have now after a strong summer. Yeah, I, I feel great right now. I, I physically feel better than I ever had. And uh, like I was saying, I'm moving well, hitting my shots as, as well as I ever have. So I have every confidence going into the Open that things are going to go well, or at least I can compete out there. And that's all I really need to know. After, uh, I remember last year on Twitter, uh, you were having a bad month and you, you might have made a comment to the effect that, I don't know why I just keep doing this all day, every day. <laughs> um, your confidence has come a long way in the last year. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think that all started with my run at the end of the collegiate season last year. Just another argument for why going back to school is going to be the best thing for my development. Um, you know, end of this year, I had a couple really good tournaments that gave me momentum, and I, I think things started to look up from there, and I gained a lot of confidence. Uh, tennis is a very up and down sport, and I'm sure there were times when I was not pleased with the way I was playing, and I'm sure it spilled out onto Twitter once or twice, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward to the end of my summer at this point. Do you enjoy using social media to interact with your fans? Yeah, totally. I'm um, always trying to work on that fo follower count and uh, getting as many people involved in my career as possible. It's really exciting to me as a, a young player. And I just have one more question. Just want to uh, understand if you could just briefly tell me about your family's tennis heritage and how that probably made your decision to go uh, to college even easier. Yeah, you know, my, my dad played uh, college tennis growing up, but 
I think my parents didn't really push me toward the college route. I think I was uh, more advocating for that, and they were going to support whatever I chose to do. So it definitely wasn't my parents behind me pushing me in one direction. It's just uh, they've supported the decisions that I've made so far and continue to make. Great. Thank you, and best of luck to you. Thank you.